Hello and welcome everyone. Sixty from another.net here bringing you with another quality tutorial. To celebrate Halloween coming up in three months from now, mind you, we'll be creating something like this. This is basically your tutorial if you ever had the urge and fantasy to create your own matrix or zombie land scene. So have fun. To get started, we're going to place in this image of a corridor that I've downloaded from DeviantArt, and you can find all these stocks on my site at another.net. We're just going to scale it into a nice position and flip it to what we want, and go into levels by Command L. Use values of those, and we're going to pop in the gun image now going to scale it down and flip it as well. Uh, it's first person view which I think looks quite nifty because it gives it a bit more depth to the image. It's that um, illusion of depth. Now we're going to just try and get a rule of birds happening with the guides. This is just to help out with your composition and hopefully you we know, get a nice composition happening, and we're going to just place him a girl now, the zombie girl, and I've scaled it down, so you don't need to scale it down. And here I'm just playing with the levels of the gun to darken up the gun a bit, because it's in an area of um of darkness and turn down the saturation as well by 50 or so because in darker places usually it's, it's darker there's no much colour there and I'm just giving it a, a bit more lighting a bit more brightness with the levels and after all that I'm going to get a new layer and I'm going to brush, brush out with a black soft brush some dark areas in the image. So I'm just brushing out all the dark areas to create more atmosphere. And I actually just brushed out a window there, and I'm brushing out some of the areas that are behind her, just to give it a tad more atmosphere because it looks more gory and horror-ish when it's darker. And I'm giving it a little bit shadow on her on her legs. And here I'm creating a new layer for the blood, and I'm just using some of the blood brushes that I've downloaded from DeviantArt to create a gory scene. And make sure you, you use a uh, kind of a dark red color, and set the layers blending mode to soft light, or overlay. And here I've um, I've done a lot of gore. You can have some more gun as well. It just depends on taste and on hands. But make sure you don't have too much. And I'm just playing with the levels of the blood now. And playing with the levels of um, of her actually rather of the girl to. Just match the lighting a bit better. Now I'm actually playing with levels of blood. Right, I rotated the gun a little bit so that it um it's actually pointing towards her. The angle wasn't correct before. It was pointing a bit too low, so now it's pointing at the right angle. This is a bullet hole layer that I did using the same technique. So I'll put it on linear light. Okay, we're going to go to 3D, new layer from 3D file, and click on the bullet.3ds. And you have something like this, imported. We're just going to bring up the 3D window, go into Windows and 3D, and just use the rotation tool on the toolbox to just rotate it into a nice angle. Okay, so we're just going to go into the mesh of the gold light in the 3D window and click on your bump 
cropping and click load texture and select the back bump as texture and put input 5 for the bump and you'll get yourself the back of the bullet and just use the 3D scale tool to scale it down it's in the left toolbox and duplicate it and we're going to just you know rotate it just uh, do the same thing repeat it and that'll get you several bullets now you gotta be um, accurate with your your bullet um, perspective here make sure to get it as real as possible if you're not quite sure how to do that you may um, need a perspective grid and uh, put it put it in so you know which perspective to put it in I'm just doing this by eye so you can you can just do it by eye if you want as well so after you got a lot let's put a light in just go into the fourth option of of the 3D and use the light rotation tool to rotate the light a bit to get to get the lighting in the right direction which is um, coming in from the windows and once you've got that merge all the bullets and use the levels like this so select all the bullets layers and then press command E to merge them and after that I can just um, create several more bullets using using the marquee and just duplicating from the layer that just we just created I think this is much faster than 3D functions so yeah that's why I did it just using using normal instead of 3D now um, to create the bullet time thing we're going to just get a marquee and then fill it with white after that use values of these in filter distort wave and you'll get something like this so marquee a line like so like I did and then use um, the transform and skew um, and press command and drag the corners to get something like this you don't have to colorize it if you don't want to and I'm going to go filter blur motion blur and use values of these and the angle according to which direction which angle your thing is and I'm going to just erase a few parts of it it's optional but um, I think you want to see, see it on the dark bits so I'll erase them and I'm just going to duplicate and transform so from that I'm just going to like duplicate more of them and then just transform it yeah sorry about the speed I'm just trying to keep the video fast for uh, YouTube YouTube's 11 minute limits just piss me off anyways since um, this doesn't really need to be 3D it's just uh, as long as you have it on a 360 360 is fine. Now I'm going to get in the smoke image and I'm going to put it on screen. I'm going to rotate it into a nice angle and I'm going to go transform wrap and just play with the wrap controls. I drag it and drag the angle, drag the corners like so. And then this side trade. Put it in a nice position. Coming, it's like it's coming out of a gun, gun barrel. Now I'm going to add a color balance to the whole image. We're almost done. Um, I'm going to like just use the value of these to make the whole image look like it's kind of like kind of you know not in this world and it's like cold and stuff like that just to make it horrific and the last thing I'm going to do is get a new merge layer edit um, command A edit copy merge paste and then go into your dodge and burn tools to just dodge up a few areas of her skin and 
that's the lighting is coming from. After that, get a new merge layer again. Now I'm going to blur radio blur and use use a value like this, and then um, turn that into screen. Now get a new layer mask and start brushing out some of the areas that you don't want to be blurry, such as her face and her legs and stuff like that. But her hands, you know, can be merged in motion, and all the bullets can be as well. And her, his hand can be like he's like moving as well. And we're about done. So I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Please comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps because I really need your feedback on these things because I just started with this new kind of style. And please don't forget to visit my site at Nora.net. Peace out.